So this is a brief introduction to Google Arts and Culture. I am in Safari. Um, so click in Safari and you're just gonna enter Google Art. Oops, not very good at this keyboard thing. Arts and Culture. And it will bring you to the home page. And the home page changes every couple days. It'll usually have some funny little prompt or something silly. Um, so here it's saying pick a royal guest to learn about culture. You can go through and it'll show you other pieces of artwork, etc. Um, it is a Google uh, interface, so it's pretty self-explanatory. But our three bars here is our guide. Um, and so we can explore in lots of ways. First and foremost, the, the magnifying glass, of course, will look up anything you want. So I'll show you what happens with that. If you like dogs, you can look up dog. It'll first show you topics and collections. So those are, um, the collections are in museums, um, specific collections about dogs. And then there's some stories. So these, these are all just like, they'll have additional information. But if you keep scrolling down, then it will show you all of the art objects in the Google Arts and Culture collection that has to do with dogs. So there's 19,484 items currently tagged with dog and some more doggy than others. Um, but you can scroll down um, and here and then just click in if you find something you like. That sassy lady and her tiny little dog. Um, for information about each painting, um, it will tell you down further down. So this is called Elegant Lady Writing at Her Desk by Gabrielle Metsu. When it was, tells us a little bit about the artwork. Um, and then here's our information. We have the creator is the artist. Um, what type is it? It's a painting. Medium oil on panel, so it's using oil paint. Um, and you can get all that information there. It's also, it tells you where it's located, how big it is, et cetera, et cetera. So that's just a straight up search. Let's go back. Now, this is sort of fun. In here, you can do lots of different things. Collections means museums. So I'm skipping over the first couple. Uh, Explore would give you, gives you a couple different ways of looking at things. Um, Nearby would probably show us something in like Boston. Um, and then it's, if you get badges, if you really like it and explore a lot, you get badges. Collections is per museum. And experiments is pretty cool. Experiments is um, different types of art games. So we might play around with these in the future. Um, and then now as far as art, you can go straight to artists. So if you love Vincent Van Gogh, you can look them up. Um, mediums is what it's made out of. Art movements. So you can see there's lots of different ways of going through here. Uh, one of my favorite ways I love to look by, um, by color, but you can also go by time period. So if you're like obsessed with the 1950s, you could pull this and then um, all of this would be artwork made in that time period. Um, and if you see something you like, you just click on it. So this was made in 42, so a little bit earlier than the 50s, but we're getting close. Um, explore related content. You can, you can just go down major rabbit holes. So created about the same time, black creators, depicts same location. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, the, let's see. So just play around. But one thing I do want to express to you is that if you find something you like, you should always press the little heart button at the bottom. That's gonna allow it to go to your favorites and then you can easily find it again because there's so much in there that if you find something you like, it might be hard to get back to it again. So by adding it to your favorites, you can uh, find it easily. And then if you, if you don't like it anymore or you don't wanna keep it in your favorites, you can always uh, remove the heart and now it won't be in my favorites. So 
you're gonna play around. I want you to find three artworks that you really like on here. Um, and for each one of them, uh, I want you to record the artist, the medium, the subject, so what is it of, the title, and um, the, uh, why you like it. So the artist, the medium, subject, the title, and why you like it. And um, oh, sometimes, so it's sort of weird, if you're putting these in a slideshow or in a doc, sometimes in Safari, you can copy it. And sometimes it won't let you. So if it doesn't let you, let's see, copy. Now let's just see if that works. here. I'm just going to see if that copied. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't copy, you probably don't even want to see all this. But if it doesn't copy or it's doing something weird, you can also uh, screenshot it. So if you're going to screenshot it, this little magnifying glass disappears if you click on the, um, if you click on it. So that is your brief introduction to Google Arts and Culture. Just going to crop this real quick. Hooray!